it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and it's still the same day as the Scallop Days Parade. I already done, did the video. It's all edited and doing its thing, but I just got a call from my husband, and he's almost home with my new van, so I thought I'd try to catch him as he pulls in the driveway for the first time. So, anyways, my, my son and his friend are about to go to town, because I'll tell you about it after. So, just a minute. Yeah, they're taking my main uh, van to town now because they're going to pick up a few people. They're having a party over at my daughter's house. They cleaned up the shop and all that kind of stuff. See ya! There he goes. Weens. Him and his friend Miles. But yeah, they're going to pick up some people and having it over at Medea's house. I said, after you pick up your friends, or whoever else, other, uh, some of his other friends have vehicles and stuff that can come. I'm like, you come back here, and I'll drive you back over, because he's not keeping the vehicle over there if there's going to be a bunch of young people having a get-together, if you know what I'm saying. But they cleaned up the shop. It's just going to be outside in the yard, having a good time, safe, responsible. You know, if there's neighbors all around. There's a police officer that lives next door, for goodness sake, so it can't get too out of hand. <laughs> But yeah, Martin should be pulling in the driveway soon. I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'll show you. Poked his head out the door looking for me. So he's he's in his pajamas, but he wants to come out too. So yeah, it's a big event getting a new vehicle, new wheels. So yeah. Oh, there it is. She's red. Exciting. I hope my other van doesn't get jealous. Here he comes. Looky, looky. Oh, my new wheels. Oh. <laughs> Liking it. It's nice and big and clear. See, it has one of those screens. And it does have one of those TV screens that fold down. I'll do a better tour of it after, but yeah, new wheels. Coon in our compost. See if he'll get out. It's not a very big one. Watch out, Mish. Just lay it right down. He might be scared. Okay, step back, you guys. I wonder if he's too weak to come out. Well, he would have had food in there. Yeah, but he might. His eyes look off. Oh, he's, he's just laying up in there. There's a raccoon in our compost. It just looks young. We tipped it over, but it's hiding in there. I think it's scared, so we're just going to leave it, the compost laying down. And it should be gone by morning once it's knows that nobody else is around poor thing poor thing it just looks looks little like a teenager guys i'm in the truck my son's driving we're bringing the truck over so i can drop him off because he has one of those foldable tables and a bunch of chairs on the back for the get together but i checked the compost and the raccoon came out so i'm happy about that hey guys let's get you living here all right i'm just here at the house i just popped my head in there to check out the shop because i cleaned it out real good yesterday I got a campfire going. Got seats all set up. Oh, Olivia, they're making you do all the work. Got a campfire going. Where do you want these? So once they get the truck cleared off, then I'm gonna take off. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next morning. I just came downstairs. It's eight o'clock in the morning. All the girls are up. <laughs> I, I come out because they're sitting in the hall making noise. And yeah, they're up. Maze came in our room this morning, probably around 5.30 and crawled in bed with us. He's up there snuggled up with my husband. So I just snuck out of the room. Just opening these blinds. Yeah, my, um, my husband. My son came home last night. I thought he was staying over at Medea's. He got home around 4 o'clock in the morning. I said, how did you get home? Medea drove him home, so. 
No doubt he'll uh, be sleeping in. But I think that they probably had a really good time. It's, you know, coming to the end of summer, having their own party and everything. Oh, boy, I don't know what today's going to bring. But I do know I'm thinking about that freezer, like going through my freezer meals and stuff. I got a vacuum. Got to brush my teeth. Ugh. But I'm going to make my coffee after I brush my teeth. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, 8.35. <laughs> I still haven't had my coffee yet, but my teeth are brushed. My face is washed. My hair is a mess, but whatever. So I think what I'm going to do today is spend a big chunk of the morning cleaning up because I didn't do a whole lot of cleaning yesterday. Like, I want a vacuum. It's not terrible, but I like the vacuum every day, and I didn't. Out there, there's Misha. Is that Mish? The other girls are upstairs. I want to do the bathroom, and you know what I mean? Just instead of the quick tidy, I want to clean it. <sighs> but I'm going to vacuum first thing. I just, that's on my nerves. i got to vacuum before I even have my coffee. It takes... Two shakes and I'll be done and then I'll be back and then we'll make a plan. I vacuumed. Didn't clear the table off, but I vacuumed the mat, vacuumed the floor. I'll go around the parts that I couldn't get and it's probably sweep the floor. I can't help it. That's what I got to do. I did a quick little vacuum out here, but I did vacuum all the wood and the carpet out here. Looks much better. I feel much calmer. And out here. So now I'm going to make my coffee. And um, I'll get you some breakfast in a minute. A goal for me today is to clear this piano top off. I know you guys have seen me do this some teen times. But it's in this state again. So i got to do that. Another thing I want to do is clear this table off. I'm thinking when I get the piano table or top cleared off, I'd like to display... Mally and Mazaya's pictures they made at Quest for Knowledge. And because they're really nice. And I'd leave those up until I start decorating for Halloween. Um, I think there's an. I think Mazaya has one upstairs too. That one's Mally's. That painting is Mazaya's. And then Mazaya has a board like this up in her room. If she wants to leave it in her room, that's fine. If not, I'll display it downstairs because I'm very proud of them. These are the certificates they got. Uh, they they learn about the Nguzo Saba, like the seven principles of Kwanzaa and stuff. And it's all about culture and history and uh, local things. And yeah, we should reach back and gather the best of what our past has to teach us so that we can achieve our full potential as we move forward. Whatever we have lost, forgotten, foregone, or been stripped of can be reclaimed and revived. Yeah, so, and one of their field trips, they went to Halifax and seen a museum on Maude Lewis, who was a local artist here a long time ago. This is like a picture of one of her paintings, folk artist. You guys might have heard of her. Maude Lewis. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'll put on um, the top of the piano. Oh, and I think Mazai has one upstairs. They made African masks on... Oh, yes, they did do this little sparkly water bottle things. But, yeah, African masks. Cool, huh? All right, friends. It's 9.02. I just emptied the dishwasher because I needed to get my mug. I have you leaning on top of the espresso maker on a ketchup bottle because I think my selfie stick tripod thing is out in the van, out in the blue van. So, I gotta get some water and fill up the care rig. I had mentioned to my husband, whenever this care rig dies, I'd like to get a coffee pot, like one that makes a pot. Just care rig individual pods are good, but with three people in the house that drink coffee, and I, I generally only have maybe two a day. I always have one in the morning, though. I thought we could make a pot. 
So he's seen one on sale. I'm sorry, I'm walking away. I'm just getting stuff into the cupboard. I've seen one on sale. I think at Walmart. It's like $14. He brought it home. It's a Toastmasters one, but I saved the receipt. I think I'm going to bring it back. So, because we don't need it right now. And I think when I get one, I want. Not that that's a bad one, but one that can make a pot and keep it warm. Or I could program it to make one or two cups instead of a whole pot. And that's just a straight hold forward to make a full pot of co coffee pot, which is good. That's not what I want. I'm not trying to be all prissy or anything, but I just, I know what I want. I don't need a great big $100 coffee maker, but I want one that does what I want it to do. So. Anyway, so I'm making my coffee. Um, I had him, and yeah, I told you I had to empty the dishwasher to get my cup. I'm gonna wipe the table off, and then I want to sit down and start making a list of what I want to do today, and uh, try to take some stuff off that list. All right, I got my clipboard down from the wall. Maze and my husband are still snoozing. This isn't really a teacup chat, it's my morning coffee, gonna survive chat, list making thing. Hmm. Yeah, the last time I made a list was when we went camping. Eh. Stuff I needed. Whatever. And I have old lists, Thanksgiving 2018 lists in the back. This isn't going to be a big, fancy list. I wish I could be one of those kind of people that have really nice, nicely decorated planners, but that's just not me. I might try it sometime, but not today. <laughs> I'll just stick with the plain, plain thing. And then I have a nail that's up on the wall there that's above our key rack where we hang our keys. So I just hang it on a nail and it's out of the way. I know where it is. <sighs> Sunday. Oops. So what I used to do when I made these lists, because I hadn't made a list like this in a long time, I'd start right from the nitty gritty. I woke up, that was on my list. Brush my teeth, brush my hair, had a coffee, wake the kids up, fed them breakfast get their shoes on, go out the door and catch the bus, that kind of thing. Not gonna get in that uh, big detail today. I don't mind making lists like that because it's kind of fun to check off so many things in a day because they're really simple things and you just do them automatically anyways. But what I am going to put, I'm gonna write down vacuum even though I just already vacuumed. So I can start my list off right and cross it off as soon as I write it down. Silly, I know. Um, I want to do the downstairs bathroom. And then I'll put like little bullets under that. The sink, mirror, toilet, shower, and floor. I want to do the top of the piano. I want to do the kitchen windowsill. It's an easy place to put things, just cards, receipts. I see a jackknife up there, an old wallet, some coffee bags, some big masking tape. It doesn't need to be there. I want to clear that off and wash that window and wash the thing and make it look a little more minimal. Uh, Clear kitchen window. Um, I want to say I want to clean over where the microwave is, but I don't think I'll do that today because that's, uh, I'm not feeling like it, but that might be on my list for tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I want to wipe kitchen table, counters, 
um, floor, white dining room. table. Um, I need a check for laundry today. It shouldn't be too much. Check laundry. Um, well, I'm going to write it down now. I don't know which order I'm going to do this stuff in. This is what it's looking like so far. Um, Sort deep freezers. And oh, I need to wash Mazai's hair today, which is fine. I like doing that and putting it up in braids and stuff. It's kind of relaxing. <laughs> Mazai's hair. I'm thinking I'm going to take the kids into town later. There is fireworks tonight. I don't know. So we'll see how the day goes, but we could walk downtown. Like, going to town. I don't know if Evie comes here today. He's at his other grandmother's, and I can't remember if Medea works today. If he does, he'll be dropped off here. If not, that's fine. But I'm just like, if we went into town, I'd want to go into town 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight. Because it doesn't get dark till after 9. And that way we could park downtown and walk the strip, walk back and maybe go to Dad's and watch the fireworks from his back deck. But it's fun to watch the fireworks downtown, too, because there's more of a crowd. But it's fun to watch it at Dad's deck, too, because we're visiting Dad. So I don't know. Maybe we could go in a little earlier and visit Dad and then walk downtown. Got to figure this stuff out. So anyways, I'm going to finish my list and then we'll tackle something and, uh, yeah, move on with the day. All right, friends, I'm done my coffee. Another thing today, I think I'm going to get rid of this high chair. It's a nice high chair. I'll either give it to somebody that could use it, or maybe I'll put it up in the attic, but I don't use it. I really don't. If he just sits with the kids when they eat, he's getting bigger. I don't use it. I was never a big high chair user anyway, so I just always had one for babies that were here. Some of them liked high chairs, some of them didn't. And anyways... That'll clear a little corner of my my dining room. So let me turn the light on out here. I think what I'm going to start with, I could start anywheres, but I want to clear that dining room table off. But in order to clear that off, because it has those pictures on it, I need to clear this piano off. So what is up here? Um, ridiculousness. Those little plastic Easter egg things that the Easter bunny fills and leaves around the house for the kids. This is a really cool toy. But i got to keep it up there for Evie because he gets his fingers pinched when it squishes back down. And, yeah, that's no fun. And one of Maze's little Spider-Mans. This is a cash register that's really cool. Comes with Canadian money and everything. There's a coin that goes in it. I just put that up there when Evie's here because he'll... The little coin's in there. You know, not safe. There's my Roomba. I need to start using, but what I want to do is clean under the couches really good because he'll get stuck under there sometimes, and I want to make sure it's absolutely clear. I'm not doing that today, but that's on my list of things to do. <laughs> so start starting in September when school starts, I want to run my house like a ship if I can. Here's a picture of um, one of Martin's great aunts painted. Very nice. Uh, Aunt Rose, I believe. And some more of those little Easter eggs, my old little Garmin watch thing, an ice pack, like ridiculous stuff, ridiculous. That's the container I put Maze's little four-wheeler charger in. So yeah, I need to clear this off, wipe it down. And there's just random odd socks, cereal bowl from this morning, the phone, a little photo album, like clear it off, wipe it down. And then I can put those pictures up the kids made because, yeah, they're very nice. Let me get started.
sweet. That looks good, Medea. Um, Medea. Messiah had her vision board in her room, but I said, can I just decorate down here? And then when I start decorating for Halloween, you can have it back. She said, yes. I have a picture hanging behind here that Messiah did too, but I'll just leave that hidden behind there for now. But yeah, a nice change. That's that thing Dad gave me for Christmas last year. It used to be Mom's. It's Jim Shore, I believe. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. So I keep that up here. But yeah, it has their certificates and stuff. I got Mally to bring that bag of Easter eggs up to the attic. Need to figure out. I'll get Misha to put that in her room or something because it's a really cool toy, but Evie's here too. Like, he plays down here all the time, so it's just too many pinch fingers. So yeah, I can cross the piano off my list. Hip hip hooray. Yeah. Oh, wow. May's just got up. Hip hip hooray. The tie, yeah. Now that I got the piano cleared off, I moved those pictures. So I'm going to clear this table off. And then I'll do the windowsill. But my husband's up. He's just in the john. Getting himself all freshened up. And then I'll do the windowsill. Because I know he'll go out and make his espresso and stuff. But I'll get this uh, wiped off. It won't take very long because it's just flyers and random, random things. So, yeah. Oh, that looks much better. All wiped off and everything. I need to know what we're going to do with that big TV box because, yeah. All right, I hardcore cleaned this bathroom. I wiped the counters, did the mirrors, washed the toilet. I just put a splash of Javex in there to sit, but it's all washed. I did the shower, swept the floor. Um, yeah, so that big chunk is done. I'm going to try to deal with that high chair over there now. And, uh, yeah, that part will be done. All right. Folded it up. I put it outside with a bag of clothes of my son's to, I think I'm just going to give it away. I do. I have another little high chair up in the attic. It's not quite as fancy, but it folds up a lot smaller. And, yeah, I'll save that one. Um, so I just wiped that one the nice one off and put it out there. I can't be bothered with yard sales and selling it and stuff. I'm really don't got no time for that. So yeah, I'm just gonna wipe this little shelf off. I wanted to ask you guys, this is old wallpaper and little Evie got into it. I saved the pieces that he took off. Is there any way I can reattach that? I was thinking like, do I just glue it back on? But I don't think you could get that anymore. And I'm not that handy, so any suggestions, I'd appreciate it, but I do have all the pieces that he did peel off, and yeah, I don't know, thoughts. I didn't sweep the kitchen floor yet, so yeah, there's stuff on the floor, but I want to clear this bench off. Usually, Evie pulls that curtain over top of it, but there's a couple turkey roasters, that turkey platter from, I don't know, when I cooked that turkey last week or the week before, some oil for my husband's guns and stuff. What's in that? Oh, what is that? Rocker guard. I don't know. Rocker panels. Something. Spray. He did get me this. Um, I seen one. Well, my husband's cousin had one. and He boosted uh, my husband's car. I don't know. I think it was July 1st. And I thought it was so cool. When he went to Costco, he got one of these. It's one of those power banks. It's like you charge up this big battery and it can like boost a car if it needs if you need to, like portable so you don't have to jump it from somebody else's car. And it has USB things, you can charge your phone, but I would just have this charged up in the back of my new mommy mobile and um yeah, with and I'll have my fancy air pump in case I ever get a flat tire, which <laughs> if you guys have been watching me for a while, I've had quite a few of those. Um so, yeah, I I should charge that up. He just got it a few days ago. But um, I'll get that cleared off. One of my husband's textbooks for his research and stuff. And these are some burlap bags. Um, I kind of like them there, honestly, but I'd like to have all the other stuff gone. Just kind of rustic or whatever. This is a bunch of loose sleeve and graph paper for school supplies. So I'm just going to put that out in a pile that green Dollarama bag has um, some glue stick kits. That's all I have for school supplies so far. But I'll put that box of loose sleeve and stuff out there and clear this off. 
I'll tuck this curtain behind the bench like I do. This is where I keep all the painted rocks my kids do and stuff. They're really cool. And yeah, then I can make this part uh, better. Same with this bag. Um, this has little games and cards and stuff in it from when we went camping. It's still sitting here. Ridiculousness. I would just sweep around it, sweep under it, and plop it back there. I need to deal with that foolishness today. So, yeah, I'll snap a couple before and after photos, and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, friends. I took all the stuff off of this bench. I even took the burlap things off and wiped the bench down. I swept the entire kitchen, but I'll probably have to do it again after. Uh, I got rid of that bag, sorted through the stuff, got rid of some stuff, saved some of the stuff, folded up the bag and put it in my reusable bag bag, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, uh, it took me a little longer, just it's, uh, my husband came out, we were just chit-chatting, but now I got this to deal with. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I have a bunch of mason jars over by the microwave. Um, like big quart size ones when I made all those cabbage rolls they're all washed I need to put them down in the basement and I want to wipe the counter off and the table off and the sink out and then I can start on that uh, windowsill so I'll take some befores and afters friends well I cleared the table off I washed my sink out washed the countertops off I'm going to start making something for the kids for lunch, and then we're going to tackle that windowsill. So, yeah, it's looking fresh and clean, clean. All right, this is a smorgasbord of a lunch. <laughs> I'm just using up stuff I had in the fridge. There's a couple of chicken nuggets on each plate left over from Dad's house yesterday. I cut up a little bit of pepperoni. They each got three little pieces. Some leftover macaroni salad from the other day. What did I make? I forget. Anyways, macaroni salad, except Maze doesn't like it, so I didn't put any on his. A bit of celery and some mozzarella cheese. And we'll have a drink of water, and that will be their lunch. All right, plates are distributed. Now I'm going to start working on this um, windowsill. I'm working on it. The dishwasher's going. I wiped the sill off, but now i got to wash the window. But, uh, yeah, my husband, I went downtown and got a coffee. I didn't ask for one. I wouldn't normally have one this early after my first one. But I think I'm going to have it. I've been working hard, and I'm going to enjoy it. And then I'll wash the window. So, yeah. I'm really feeling accomplished. Like, it's really kicking me off to get ready for fall so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff to do when fall rolls around. So, yeah. I mean, I'll have to clean. Don't get me wrong. But you know what I'm saying friends all cleaned up my husband just got done water in the garden he's outside barbecuing some steak but I wiped down the counter or the windowsill I just left Mally's pea plant that she came home with from school I just keep watering it every few days and it looks nice there I should put it in a real pot but I haven't just have my magic wand my wishbones and my little thing there I have a tea thing in a flashlight and some just little rinky dink things but yeah much better much much better so I have Mazaya taking out her braids now I'm gonna give her hair a wash and do it up here shortly but yeah all right guys I'm just starting to edit that video or today's video while I have a chance and I just made poor all beef hot dogs for my son because he's hurting a little bit today all right friends so I have the video today's video all edited up until this very point it is 2:12. so <clears throat> maze is down here just running around making a racket but i'm thinking i'm gonna go down in the basement and check um, that deep freezer just so i can start working on my things that i can defrost tonight if I can find the bags of turkey bones, I'd take those out, but I just want to have an idea of what I'll be working with in the next couple of days. So I'm going to walk down there, see what I can find, and I'll be back. All right, I know you can't see down here very well. The lighting looks really bad, but those are all those keto cabbage rolls I made, and there's some more freezer meals there. So I'm going to take all those out and see what's underneath of the, the stuff. There's a bunch of ground um, moose meat and deer meat. 
And yeah, so anyways. All right, oh, I learned how to turn the flash on. So this is all ground pork, ground moose, and uh, some deer meat. I cleared out that, that's a box of margarine in there. Just a bag of ice under there. And I have a whole bunch of turkey bones. <laughs> I have a couple packages of chicken and a pork roast, but I've got to see if they're freezer burnt, if I'm going to use them or not. But I'm going to load up the other freezer meals that I have here, turkey tetrazzini, lasagna, keto cabbage rolls, and those should fit in here fine. So now I'm going to have room to flash freeze some stuff that I, I want to make. But yeah, feeling good. My fingers are frozen though. All right, how I pack these back in here, like I put them up. Well, I found a bag of French fries, but them like that, like the turkey tetrazzini, the lasagna and stuff, um, just so it'll be easier to haul out instead of stacking them in one big tower and I'd have to dig them all out to get one near the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do for now. But yeah, look at all the space. Lovely, lovely. Right there by the paper towel. Oh. Anyways, this whole basket is full of turkey bones. I have some of our turkey bones, some of dad's turkey bones, um, and my sister. My sister, February... Uh, 17th 2019 so they're not too old and yeah I'm just gonna sit here let them sit here for a minute this is the big pork roast this would be good for uh, pulled pork because it has a good fat cap on it so that's a maybe but I think there's a big bone in this I don't know we'll see and over here I found a thing a chicken breast with the bone and another one with boneless but this one looks like it might be a little freezer burnt, so I might not be able to use that. But we'll see. But now Mazai is done taking her braids out, so I'm going to go wash her hair. And I'm about to get Mazai in the shower, just waiting for so-and-so to get out of the loo. But I opened two bags of the turkey bones. <laughs> I need to dig out my other water bath canner because I need big pots for this. I'm going to fill this up with water and uh, see what I can get in the other pot. I could put more bones in this, but I like to not jam pack it full of bones. Like a, like a good amount, but not, not so much that it's more bones. Um, and I don't get much broth, if you know what I'm saying. All right, I filled it up almost to the top. Um, I just didn't want to make a mess all over my kitchen. I'm going to turn it on high now because I want to get this boiling and then I turn it way down to simmer. I'll put the cover on it now and then after I'm done with Mazai's hair I'll work on the second pot. So yeah, I simmer this for a couple of days, I really do. So I probably won't can this up until probably Monday morning, something like that. Yeah, I'll be right there, hon. So yeah, now let's go wash Zai's hair. 12 after 3, I just got done Zai's hair. I only put it in two braids. It's not quite boiling yet, but it's getting there. Size so hair, do a little twirl. There, perfect. So she didn't want a whole bunch of braids this time. I said we'll try two and see how long it'll last. Put some nice moisturizer in there, and she smells like a coconut. Of course. Of course. <laughs> right. I'm filling up my second water bath canner. I have three turkey bags of bones in here and some ham bones. Uh, this pot's bigger than that one. So I think I'm going to move that pot to the other back big burner. It's big. <laughs> it is a big one, but the other one's even bigger. Um, and then I'll put the big kahuna right here. Just a minute, Major. So hungry. I know. You're starving. Jeepers creepers. Oh, there we have it. Isn't that a glorious sight? So, yeah, I turned this, uh, or I left this one on high, turned that back one on high until it's like a good boil, and then I'll turn it down. And put the lid on it, but leave it open a crack, and just let her go. So when we do need to cook something on the stove top, I just take it off while I cook something and I put it back on, because it stays good and hot. It really does. A great big pot like this, full of hot water and hot bones, I can have something whipped up for supper or whatever before it even cools down and then I just put it back on the stove. In the winter however we would have the wood fire going and I'd have these sitting on the wood fire so I wouldn't it wouldn't even interrupt my time but whatever I'll make it work. All right she's good and bubbly so I'm gonna put the lid back on it. I'm 
going to carefully turn this down without burning myself. It's about, I don't know, six, something like that. And you can see the lid's not on tight, so it will simmer down. Simmer down now. And this one hasn't started boiling yet, but it'll take a while for it to get up and dance. All right, friends. What time is it? 3.38. That second pot still hasn't come up to boil yet, but I turned it down. I, that other, that first pot I had turned down anyways. Mally wants to make stuff like she wants spaghetti. <laughs> I said, I don't have any hamburger, hon. She was like, well, I'll make supper if you go get hamburger. I said, sure enough. Um, I said, I'll just spin into Superstore real quick. Oh, I need my sunglasses. Just a minute. That's better. i got to clean them though, they're foggy. I said, yeah, I'll just spin in. My husband just went for a walk, but my teenager's here, and Mally's here. And, yeah. So, I'm just going to go in there and in out. Evie is coming out tonight. His mom does work at 6. So, she'll probably bring him over around 5 or something. So, yeah. At least I've got a lot of housework done. I didn't do a lick of laundry. I probably have enough for a load, but I might wait for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I got that bone broth, but I still have that other chest freezer to raid, so we'll do that together. All right, mission accomplished. Uh, on my way home now. Home now, quarter after four. Just got the meat in the pan and the water on to boil. Oh, she's doing a good job. Chopped up an onion. I found her in here crying. But it turns out she was, uh, <laughs> chopping up an onion. Actually, I came out to you to yeah. say... <laughs> But, yeah, check those noodles, Mally. I'll strain this hamburger. Oh, you just did? Them. Okay. Yeah. They're probably a couple more minutes, and then you can taste a noodle to see if they're soft they're enough. Too hot. They're too hot. Yeah. All right, I'm going to strain this. Today, when I found that other tomato sauce down in the basement, when I thought I was uh, out of tomato sauce, I put that jar in the pantry, and we're going to use my home can tomato sauce. Yep. Good job. So, yep. Just dump it in. You might need to get a spoon if it's stuck. Be, be careful because it'll splatter. <laughs> God. Perfect. Just rinse the jar and I can wash it in the dishwasher. Right. Spaghetti's done. Yeah. Kids are hungry. Mazai wanted a big bowl. So she's got a big bowl with some Parmesan on it. Is it going to be good, Zai? Yes, I can know. <laughs> Can you eat all that? Yes, of course. Uh, we'll see. My valley and my finish. <laughs> yes. All right, I just took some noodles out and cut them up a bit because for Maze and Evie, like, it's harder for them to eat longer noodles. That's why I like goulash. I'm making goulash <laughs> better than spaghetti because I hate cutting them up. Well, I don't mind, but it's just one more step. But, yeah, now I'll divide that up. All right, I got the pots back on the stove. They were only off maybe 45 minutes or so. Maybe not even that. And um, I'll put the covers on tight and turn them back up on high so they get rolling again, and then I'll turn them back down and move the lid just a smidge. Dishwasher time. All right, I got the supper mess cleaned up. I'm going to tackle this freezer. I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to put you guys on to charge because my phone's almost dead, and uh, I'll show you the process when I get a chance. Alright, I'm gonna give this a wipe out. Those are just waffles up there. I'm gonna leave that. That's yeast, um, some egg roll cover things, some bacon grease, and some freezer packs there. That's empty. I'll give this a wipe out, but look at this monstrosity. I can't believe all of that. A whole table full of stuff was in this freezer. Alright guys, I just started the dishwasher. This is the stuff that I'm going to try to use up tomorrow or at least prep for, you know, the next couple of days to cook big meals. These are three packages of uh, Tony's Cured Brine Back Fat. I could cook with that just like I cook with bacon fat. This is a mac and cheese. I'm going to defrost. That's a chili. I'm going to defrost so the kids can have some of that tomorrow just to get that out of my freezer. These are two smaller pork loins. They're looking a little rough though, so I'll defrost them and see what they're like after that. That's the giant monster pork loin. 
uh, a big thing of chicken leg and thighs, some little pork loin center slice things, bacon, a little roast beef, this is tomato sauce, this is tomato sauce, I'm going to defrost them and use them up, and found two things of frozen tortilla wrap things. I have the other stuff, the chicken and that big pork thing over there. I'll try to pack all this stuff away later, but I'm going to let it sit out for the evening just because it is stone cold. Um, this is a ham bone. I'm going to unwrap it and drop it in one of those pots over there. That's what I'm going to do with that bad boy. But now I have the other big freezer to do. So, yeah, we'll see what comes of that. I'll show you my freezer now. So, turns out I have three half a bag of french fries in here. I have a bag of pizza bites back there. Um, I have one package of like pork riblets I put in boiled dinner. There's moose meat and deer meat and moose meat and deer meat in here. I actually might take out some moose meat. I'm not sure. Two things of cauliflower rice just so I can have it handy when I want it. I use these little yogurts for Evie. Um, they're good to keep in the freezer, take out the day before, and he can have a snack when he comes. And that's a bag of turkey bones. So I'm going to probably end up doing more turkey bone broth after I'm done canning up this. But turkey bones, yeah. Waffles. I had three packages of hot dogs, two all beef ones and one regular one. There's three popsicles, this little calzone thing, and like I said before, the yeast and the egg roll wrappers. So, yeah, that's what I got, but it's looking a lot better. All right, this is my other freezer. <laughs> it's pretty full. So, this is the before. All right, this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's no turning back now, though, really. I found two bags of turkey bones. I'm going to put them in the freezer here in the kitchen. Oh, I found some pork, some um, pepperoni, or no, salami and ham, salami, pepperoni, and ham. Pizza toppings. This is some moose meat. Oh, you guys stop fighting! Cheapers. A thing of hamburger, three things of kielbasa sausage, some more moose meat. Two things of, uh, uh, what is it, corn, oh for heaven's sakes, corn beef, corn beef. I'm going to put those back in the freezer, I'm not going to use those now. I found a whole bunch of cheese, uh, Canadian cheddar, a couple things of Havarti, what is this one, cow creamy, cheddar cheese, cheddar, two... Three things of Parmesan cheese, Monterey Jack slices, and cheddar. Some more pork riblets. I'm putting those in the deep freezer for when I make a boiled dinner with that other one that's in the fridge freezer. Found a chili. I'm going to defrost that. That's what they're having for supper tomorrow. Found these breaded white chicken strips. I remember I bought them, and they didn't really like them, so I'm probably going to compost those. Um, I don't know what this is, so... They're frozen shut. I'm going to open them and see. They're either sauce or broth. Um, this is ground moose meat. Just a minute. Those kids are just a hollering. Uh, this is a bunch of deer meat. I'm going to put back in the freezer, I think. I'll ask my husband what he wants me to do with that because I'll can it up for him, but it's up to him. I found some pastrami, uh, thick smoked ham, corned beef slices, a whole chicken. This is a moose steak, shoulder, shoulder round steak. Uh, some spinach, round steak. I found three packages of vacuum-packed broccoli that we grew ourselves. I'm using that. <coughs> oh, I think that's moose. Ha a little bit of a pork tenderloin. Um, what else is there? I have over here. Hamburger, a ham, moose sausage, another ham, two ham steaks, and a whole bunch of ground pork. And I'm going to cook all of this and a lot of that. But, oh, I'll show you the freezer just a minute. <laughs> That's uh, blueberries down there in the corner, the frozen blueberries. There's a bunch of margarine and another thing of yeast and two bags of fish. I'm allergic, so I'm not touching that. Um, those wrapped up tinfoil things are fruitcake I made with my mom. We have them all individually. 
they're probably not good to eat now. I don't know, but I don't want to throw those out. And there's some puff pastry wraps and some broke up chocolate Easter bunnies that I could use for baking or something. So these are all the freezer meals I took out. So I'm going to load those back in here. All right, this is my freezer after I put the freezer meals back in. So it's a lot better, a lot better. Um, and majority of this is the freezer individual keto meals I made. Um, there's like deer meat and moose meat there. And then the stuff that I showed you to begin with and all that stink of margarine. But we'll use it up. I want to use it up. And yeah. Now I have room to make more freezer meals. All right, I just went out to the shop to get these two coolers because there's no way I can fit all this in my fridge. That's Those two sinks are full. Table's pretty crowded. The bench is full. I did put that corned beef and stuff back in the freezer along with those two bags of turkey bones. But yeah. Oh, over here. This is all turkey broth or chicken broth. One of them says chicken broth. I'm going to defrost it and add it to these. So I can, uh, yeah, get rid of that too. I'm getting stuff packed away. And here I have all the chicken. I have two bags of ice and those kielbasa sausages. Um, well, a bag and a half of ice, which I had in the deep freezer. Over in this one... I have all the ground pork, which was a ton, two packages of hamburger, a bag of moose meat, and two hams. I don't have any ice in here, and I don't have room, so I might, um, I don't have, yeah, I'll have to go down to the store and get a bag of ice and open it and just sprinkle it in there. But everything in here is rock solid, so I'm not too worried about it, because I plan on working with it tomorrow. And, yeah, pretty full. In the fridge, I put the cheese and the sandwich meat. So that'll, that'll fit. Broccoli, I'm probably going to put in the fridge freezer. Then i got to figure out, I mean, I have another cooler. What I'm going to do with the stuff here, the pork, 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 beef. Those are the two spaghetti sauces. That's a moose something and the giant pork loin. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to get out another cooler and another bag of ice. And I'm not trying to keep it frozen, but I don't have room in my fridge. So it'll just defrost very slowly, and uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan. All right, I got this big cooler. I put the stuff in a garbage bag because it's one of those soft coolers, and I just don't want meat juices everywhere. I have everything that was in the sink, except for the sauces and the broths, in here. So now I'm going to spin down to the store and get a couple bags of ice, a bag for this one, and a bag for that top one. And yeah... Then I'll just replenish the ice tomorrow if I don't get to cooking all of this stuff. But it's not going back in my freezer, I can tell you that. Alright, i got two bags of ice. Put one in this one, one in this one. Then I'll be done. I'll wipe the table off, wait for the dishwasher to be done, and I'll just load up the rest of the dishes. I'll probably add that stuff before I go to bed, because it's still frozen. And uh, I'll put that sauce in the fridge, but... Yeah. All right, all wiped off, all locked and loaded for tomorrow. The sauce is in the fridge, the dishwasher's still going, and I'm calling it quits for tonight, I can tell you. I'm tired. All right, friends, well, I left my room because I'm about to go tag the rest of these videos on the end of the one that I edited today. It's nice and cool in here because the air conditioner there in the window. But yeah, I think you and I accomplished a lot today. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, Misha and Mays are supposed to go to that little day camp in the morning, but my husband said that he would take them. And my husband might end up taking them into town. He's gone. He took the new van down to show his family. <laughs> so, what time is it now? Oh, my goal's showing up there. i got to wait a minute. But, yeah, I got a lot of deep cleaning done downstairs. I still have work to do in the kitchen, though, but I'll wait till after I'm done this marathon of cooking and canning and whatnot but I plan on digging out my slow cookers because I have so much ground pork I was thinking I'd grind up that big pork loin 
to make ground pork, but I have so much ground pork already, so I'm not going to do that. I'll probably cut it up in pieces and make stuff. And the chicken, I don't know. I have enough to make rapid pie, so I would need a couple of rapid pie mixes. So I think I'm going to start my day off tomorrow making a list of things I need to get, because I'll go into town in the morning. I need a whack of broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and spinach or kale or something like that, because... Uh, that's the stuff I like to put in keto meals, and then I, I'm not making all keto meals with this stuff, but the stuff I do want to make keto meals with, I need the, those ingredients. I'll probably get some more cheese. I need some eggs. I don't know. I need to make a list of stuff that, I, that I'm going to use for this marathon. <laughs> so tune in tomorrow if you want to. Uh, Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really, truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys. I'm ready to kick my feet up. I really am. So, have a good night or have a good morning. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.